we're asked to figure out what is 1 7th divided by 4. And they help us out with this diagram. We have a whole divided into seven equal sections. Each of those is a seventh. And we have one of those sevenths filled in. So this is 1 7th right over here. And then they divide it into four equal sections. In fact, they divide all of the sevenths into four equal sections. And so 1 7th, which is this whole green bar, divided by four, well that would be this fraction of the whole that is in a question mark. So can you pause this video and figure out what fraction of the whole is this question mark? Well, when we divided the first seventh into four equal sections, we also divided all of the sevenths into four equal sections. And so now the entire whole is 28 equal sections because you have a four by seven grid. You have one, two, three, four rows, and you still have your seven columns. And you could count them, seven, 14, 21, 28. And so one seventh divided by four is going to be one of these 28 sections. So this right over here is one over 28. So this is one twenty-eighth. Let's do another example. We're told use the number line below to help visualize one fifth being divided by three. So well, as we go from zero to one on the number line, you could divide into five equal sections where that's one fifth, two fifths, three fifths, four fifths, and of course five fifths is equal to one. But we want one fifth divided by three. So we took the section from zero to one fifth and we divided it into three equal sections. And so the first of those sections, this one right over here, that would be one fifth divided by three. So what is this going to be equal to? Pause this video again and see if you can figure that out. Well, the key realization is, is when we divided each of the fifths into three more equal sections, we can now think of each of these steps as a 15th because now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 equal sections between zero and one. And where did that 15 come from? Well, we had five equal sections and then we split each of those five into three more equal sections. So five times three is 15. So this right over here is one 15th. This is two 15ths. This is 3 fifteenths, which is equivalent to 1 fifth, and we could keep going on and on and on. But the key realization here is, if I take that first 1 fifth, and if I divide into three equal sections, and I go only as far as that first of the three equal sections, that is going to be 1 fifteenth. 1 fifteenth. And we are done.